In my previous video I gave you an overview of the daily curriculum plan template and now I'm just going to show you how quick and easy it is to um, fill in this form in your web browser. So first of all I'm going to start by um, filling in the date. So to do this I click on this box and a little arrow will appear. I click on that arrow and a calendar will pop up. This is very easy for me to then go ahead and select the date that I want. Uh, in the next section is the room. Once again, you select, um, click on the box and then select on the arrow and it will give you an option of baby's room, toddler room or preschool room. If you want, you can also type in the name of your room. Um, for this example, I'm just going to use preschool room. Next thing I'm going to do is um, fill out the educators or the teachers that were in your room that day. So for this I'm going to just add me. So that top bit's um, done. Next I'm going to fill out um, the boxes and in each box I'm going to add in a um, experience or activity that took, that took place um, in the room for, that, for this day. So to do this, I'm just going to um, use the zoom in feature, just so you can um, see a little bit better. And I'm just going to um, type in some dummy text. Obviously, when you're doing this, you're going to um, write in, type in your activity or experience. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that for this row. And you try and make sure that um, each of the experiences cover each of the learnings, uh, each of the different learning styles. So I'm just going to fill in two rows just to show you what it will look like as you're completing this. This is um, by doing this as well it's fairly simple and it's very interactive which will also cut down on a lot of your um, time and you'll be able to do this a lot faster. So there are my um, experiences that took place in my room f um, throughout the day and now once I've added my experiences I'm going to choose a learning outcome and an input key to go with this particular experience or activity. Now to do this all I need to do is click on the box just click on it and a little arrow you click on the little arrow and each of the um, learning outcomes will appear um, 1 through to 5. So what they are is you can refer back to um, the learning outcomes here at the bottom of the page just zoom in here you've got um, each of the five learning outcomes. So you've got learning outcome one, two, three, four and five. And also you've got the sub learning outcomes. So you've got learning outcome 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, etc. for each of the learning outcomes. So when you're filling this out, once you've added your experience, you can choose which learning outcome applies to that experience. So once again, I'm just doing this um, as an example. So I'm just um, randomly selecting learning outcomes and input key. Now, if you just notice, if when I ex um, click on the input key, the box does expand. And once it expands, um, you click on the arrow and you can choose the correct input key. And once you click on the input key for this, I'm just going to do child interest. The little image does um, pop up as well. And you can also um, refer back, to, um, sorry, you can refer to this down the bottom. So here, I'll just zoom in so you can have a look. There are the input keys for you to refer back to. So now I'm just going to zoom out. Zoom out a little bit more and I'm just going to finish completing the learning outcomes and input key for each of the experiences. Now it's very, very simple for you to do as all you need to do is click on the box and select the right ones and then they just pop up. And it also um, makes sure 
it helps you to make sure that the um, learning outcomes and input keys are actually added and included into your um, curriculum plan and it does so in a very simple way. So I'm almost done here. Okay, so you get the idea. I'm not going to go ahead and do the rest of them. So there we go. So um, I've added my activities and my experiences. Now, because I've only added in the two rows here, if I um, if I have no more activities or experiences to add, I'd want to delete this row so it doesn't come up when I'm printing it. So to do this is very simple. All you need to do is click on this X button here located on the left. And once you click it, a little pop-up window will um, just want to confirm that you want to delete this row. Just select yes. And automatically the row will disappear. So if I want to add a row or I've got, um, because I've got more experiences or ma more activities, activities to add. I just clicked on this button add row and another row will appear and there I can add the rest of my experiences and activities. Okay so once I've done that I've also can um, scroll down here I'll just zoom in and there's a little box um, to the right for parent input and suggestions. So here we go and here you can just type in any parent feedback or comments that um, you receive throughout the day. So once again that's some dummy text. Okay now that that's done I'm going to go ahead um, onto page two. There is a page two here and this is basically your curriculum reflection questions. This is just to prompt you and just to help you remember that you've got everything added onto your curriculum plan. And it's very simple. There um, is a checkbox, simple yes or no um, answers. And um, yeah, just click on them. I'll just quickly read them. Do the experience activities plan cover each of the EYLF learning outcomes? I'm just going to select yes. Does the curriculum assist in the development of belonging, being, being and becoming? I'll select yes. Has parent input feedback being added into the curriculum plan? Yes, that's if you filled in the um, box here. Okay, and then is the current setup in the environment working? Are there any changes required? Um, if I select yes for this, a little text box will appear and then I can add my notes for that. So there's my note. And the last question, is there anything I need to follow up in regards to children, parents, program or staff? Yes. Um, another text box will appear and here I can add the note um, just to help me remember what I need to do for um, the next day or if there's anything I need to follow up on um, with parents or anything. So I'm just going to add some text here. So now that's all filled out. And the last thing I want to show you here, if you notice, you've got your insert centre logo here. Now if you've got a centre logo that you'd like to add onto your day, daily curriculum plan, you can do so and it's very simple for you to do. All you need to do is select on, um, click on the button here and this will open up the folders and files in your own computer and from here you select on your centre logo image and then select it. And this will automatically resize the image and align it to fit here for your center logo. If you don't have a center logo or you don't wish to use it, that's absolutely fine. Just click on the clear logo button and then nothing will appear once you finalize the form or print it out. So for this sample, I will add the um, Aussie Childcare Network um, dot com logo. Okay, so that's how you fill it out. Stay tuned for my next video where I will show you how to finalize and print the form.